Let's go over some key points in the studio. You really need to schedule your time. There's no way you can get away without this, so please plan that. Test beforehand. Come in, set up, and test. Arrive way early. And I can tell you from my own experience, if you're thinking, huh, I'll come an hour beforehand, no problem. I can promise you an hour is not enough. I often see students helping their teachers or helping other students, they come 10 minutes before. And then you know what ends up happening? They end up sitting in the lab trying to figure things out for two, three hours. And their friends who came to help them are waiting, waiting, waiting. And they say, oh, I've got a class to go to, and then they leave. Or their teacher is saying, why is this taking so long? I thought you had this all planned out. And then you say, oh, I had it planned out, but something's not working. Yes, that is the rule of thumb that we always say. Something always goes wrong. It's always happening. There's just no way to stop it. I've been doing video for 30 years, and still, every time something goes wrong. Something went wrong just now when I was making this recording. Something went wrong, and that was after spending all day to get it ready to go. So remember that stuff goes wrong. You need to come in beforehand, at least half a day beforehand and set up. The good thing about a studio is if you set up, you can go then take a lunch or take a break and then come back. But if you come in 10 minutes before, then it's kind of game over. Uh, you're not going to be able to succeed that way. All right, so here's a few more pictures of some stuff we've got. So this is the control room again. Looks pretty cool. We have a little bit uh, clear picture here of our recording. You see we've got a recording happening here. And there's our talent inside of there. So she's in front of the green screen. And we've got a nice result here. And here's our person doing some uh, cutting back and forth between cameras. That's very nice. And then we do have a teleprompter in the lab. And a teleprompter, you've seen before, I'm sure, has words that come up on a screen and then they show in a mirror. And then when you're reading, you just read by looking at the mirror and that mirror is in front of a camera behind the mirror. So it makes it easy for the talent when they're reading to be looking directly at the screen rather than looking at an angle or at a prompter, teleprompter. I mean a, a computer screen which is down on their lap or something like that. So for example, I can talk and look directly at you because the teleprompter is right in front of the camera. But if I didn't have that, I'd keep looking down here and looking up and then I'm reading something here, or I'm looking on my computer screen, and then I look up once in a while. Sometimes I forget to look up. I'm just staring here, and that looks very bad, doesn't it? So a teleprompter is great to help you get that eye right at the camera look. Very, very handy. That's a teleprompter. It's very important inside of the studio that you make sure you set your lights correctly, that you plan to set your lights and then you go ahead and, and put them in the correct position. And we also have things inside the room you can use like a focus charts and a dummy. You can do things like blocking. Blocking means how you organize things inside of the room and how people move or stand inside the room. I'm going to show you that in a little bit. So most important is no horsing around, which means don't play around. No playing, no jumping, no walking fast, no having fun. A studio is not a place to have fun. It's a place to record video and audio. And the way to do that is to be serious. Once you start playing around, something's gonna get broken or worse yet, someone's gonna get hurt. So please, be extra careful. Watch out where you stand and think before you do something. Don't just jump up and down. I think students get very excited when they're in a studio. They think it's a lot of fun, and they think it looks like TV, so they can maybe play around a little bit. It ends up somebody gets hurt or something gets broken. Here's what we call a focus chart. You see that? It's got those lines on it. This helps when we're using our camera and we want to get a, a, a person or a location exactly in focus. 
So in this case, we put this exactly where the person's going to stand. So maybe the person's head is going to be right here and the person's standing here. We put this focus chart there and then we zoom in with our camera to get this exactly in focus. This pattern will change very clearly to show you that it's out of focus or it's in focus. So that's very cool. We also have a dummy in the lab, or a dummy's head at least. And this dummy, you can position this dummy where you're going to shoot the video of someone, so where your talent's going to be. Here we have a focus ring, and here we have our dummy's head. And so this helps us to put this dummy where we're going to shoot, and then we can see what's the lighting. How dark is it on this side of her face? How dark is it here? And what's the height, and how do I frame my shot? And that way you don't need to have a person sitting there the whole time. So what's really great about this is you can come into the lab before your talent, before the other people are helping you come, and you can set everything up by using the dummy and using the focus chart. That's very handy. Okay, so that's kind of it for the studio. The studio has many, many different parts, as you can see. The studio is a very exciting place to use. However, I really emphasize that everyone is happy for you to use the studio. I think at any school you're at, at my school for sure, we want you to use the lab, but we want you to be careful. We don't want you to break any equipment, but more importantly, we don't want you or someone to get hurt. So please pay attention to the lab and have fun but not too much fun. It's a lot of hard work. So good luck using the studio or our marketing lab as we call it. Now the one thing you definitely will never lose, that's going to be the thing that's really huge and cannot be missed. And that's right behind me here. That's the teleprompter. So I'm going to pull the teleprompter up here so you can see it. There you go, teleprompter, right? This thing is big. It's not small at all. Let me switch my angle there. Come over to here. Here we go, teleprompter. Okay, so what is a teleprompter? A teleprompter is a computer screen that has words on it goes up to a mirror and then you can read it while you're talking to the camera because the camera goes right behind it here. Now now you can see right through it 100% clear. But usually what happens is you can't see through it because it has this black cloth hanging down. And that black cloth hanging down stops you from seeing the camera and also makes the camera not get any reflection. So the words become very, very clear. And normally, the camera would go right here, right back here. Okay, so that's a teleprompter. Now the teleprompter has a computer attached to it, so we have a keyboard. And we also have a foot pedal. So this foot pedal goes down on the floor, and you step on it to stop and start the words moving up and down on the screen. So that is a teleprompter, a super convenient and nice tool to have inside the studio. Now you could have them outside also, it's possible, when you go on location, but that's a little bit hard. You can see it's big and bulky and not very convenient. Okay, so those are some of the things you'll see around in the studio.